Hey guys, it's Kevin. Uh, today we're going to talk about the uh, a user question. His mom changed cartridge, and uh, after that, uh, he found a small, uh, small spring uh, in the printer, and uh, the printer will not recognize the cartridge again. The little spring comes inside here. However, uh, you should check the pins, make sure they're all there. You should get nine of them. There are five on top row and four on the bottom row. If you got one of them broken, uh, today's your lucky day. Go to bchtechnologies.com and uh, go to printer parts, Epson, and go to electronic boards. And on the left, you can see the, the selection. Click CSSE terminal. And here's the pin that, you, that you, you can buy. So you can swap them when you install the spring. If you if you already lost the spring, I know you're dead. Go to uh, the same thing. Go to parts, Epson, and uh, go to springs. You have both the spring and the, the thumb top in one package like this. To check if the problem is caused by the spring before you buy, and uh, try something like this. If one of them doesn't bounce back, uh, that's the problem one. Uh, first, uh, you need to get the print head unlocked. To do this, turn the power on. As soon as you see the print head moves, cut the power off. Now slide the uh, carriage to this position where it has opening. Get a size 1 Phillips screwdriver and uh, remove uh, this screw first. Then two screws, one on each side. Now we need to remove this piece. It's hard to describe how to do it. Uh, let me just show one that I already removed so you know where to uh, push. This is the bottom of the carriage. Pay attention to that square hole. Uh, here's the top piece. And it goes in like this. So we need something to push into that square box that will release the cover. Let's do it. After you get that part loosened, just pull it up, pull it straight up. Now we're going to remove the two more screws under the cover. Now you can lift the whole thing up. Okay, that was the easy part. And uh, the next part is a little bit difficult. Okay, uh, take a close look. And there are two things look like a spatula. Just remember that. And remember, uh, I say uh, those spatulas should be on the top. And this piece I'll call the bottom. So the bottom have two square holes. And those spatula should be, should be on top of those square holes. Just use a, use a finger, you can lift the uh, set up and remove this cover. Um, I'll, I'll call the base. Uh, you don't need any tools to, to uh, remove it. Just use your fingernail. Uh, however, be really careful when you remove it. So now you, you can see what I said about uh, the spatula on the top of the square hole. When you lift it up, do it slowly, and uh, those springs should stay with the, with the base. To install the spring, the first, one is, first thing is find it. Okay. You put it down, dial the column, and uh, push it down and then twist it a little bit. Give it uh, like a half turn twist, and it should stay with the column. Now slowly flip it over with uh, the spring attached. Some uh, absent. Okay, let's try again. Uh, give a half turn, a quarter turn or half turn, and uh, flip over. This is incorrect because the spatula should, should be on the top of the square. And this is correct. Uh, just slip the square underneath the spatula. Now you can see it's underneath and push in. You're going to hear a click. 
and uh, then just test it. You're ready to go. Oh, by the way, I forgot to show you how to change the, the pin. I mean, just get a screwdriver, dig it out, and slide a new pin in. And uh, if you need to change that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally, Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.